हरिओं डियर स्टूडेंट लेट एस स्टार्ट द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द स्टोरी मदर टेल अदर स्टोरी इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ दिस स्टोरी दैट इज मैमजा शी वॉज आस्क टू टेल स्टोरीज बाय हर चिल्ड्रन इज एन सेट होप यू हैव रिमेंबर्ड इट है ना चिल्ड्रेन हैव यू रिमेंबर द स्टोरी या So the children asked Manza to tell story, isn't it? So see here are the children. They asked Manza to tell a story when they were sitting around the fire at night, and she couldn't tell any story though she thought of a. Um, she just thought for a while, and she, uh, she couldn't get any stories. And immediately she asked her husband and also the other villagers, but. she couldn't find any stories and her husband manza's husband zenzil who was very good at carving the pictures he said that i will take care of the home and family and all the responsibilities you go and find the stories for the children he said and even manza felt that it is nice idea and immediately she started her journey to search for stories isn't it and on her way of journey to find stories first she met whom hey who was very tricky isn't it and when manza asked hey very flatteringly who oh, clever fit hey do you have any stories what did the hey say He said that yeah, I have millions of stories, but now I don't have any time to tell because I have something important to say. By saying that, it had gone away. That means he didn't tell any stories to Manza. And after that, Manza met Fanny, the baboon. Okay, we can also call it as a monkey, isn't it? And When Manza asked this Fanny to tell the stories, Fanny said that she was very busy feeding and taking care of her kids, and she don't have any time to think of stories. And after that, Manza met the owl, who was sitting on a fig tree. And as soon as Manza asked this owl about stories. it became very annoyed and angry that you human beings will never live in peace and you'll never get satisfied just for the sake of stories you have woken me up it is very bad by saying that again other all slept very happily and after that manza had gone to elephant who had just eaten bananas and moving its ears and even this Ma elephant do it didn't know any stories it had given the idea that you few go and see the eagle the king of birds who is flying above the earth and he might be seeing everything and he may be any help to you when elephant said that manza said that it is really good idea and manza went and met the eagle who is the king of birds and here the eagle was fishing in the sea and when manza had just asked eagle to tell any stories to take home for children eagle said that i am very intelligent but i don't have money like many stories and i'll call you a friend who may be helping you he is very good at his intelligence and as well as he knows the secrets of the deep dark ocean so you wait here i will go and call my friend and he will definitely help you who said this the eagle said this word to manza and eagle went to call whom his friend another animal so manza was waiting there itself 
for eagle to come back. With this, we have ended the first part, isn't it, children? Yeah. Now, let us see whether the eagle will come back and whether the eagle will get his friends on his, uh, in what way Manza is going to get stories. Okay, children? Yeah. Now, let us start the story. Here I am, the eagle called. I have bought my friend, the big sea turtle. He has agreed to take you to a place where you can find stories. So finally here, when Manza was waiting for eagle to return, finally the eagle came back and he said that, Yeah, I have bought my friend. Turtle, you can see the picture of turtle here. So, Manza, when she was waiting there, eagle, he came there with his friend, turtle. Who was his friend? Turtle. Okay. And eagle also said that the turtle had agreed to take Manza to a place where she can find Stories. So finally, she came to a place where she there is a scope of finding the stories. Now she thought that okay, at least uh, there is a hope that I can find stories. The turtle agreed to take her to a place where she can find stories. Okay, the great sea turtle lifted himself out of the ocean and said in a deep voice. Climb on my back and hold on to me, sorry, on to my shell. I will carry you to the land of the spirit people. So, when um, Eagle said that my friend will help you, immediately turtle, it came out of the sea ocean and it said that, okay, you come and hold on my back. You just come on my back, climb to uh, climb on my back and hold on to my shell. Just sit on my back and hold the shell very tightly and I will take you to the land of the spirit people. Let us see what is this land of spirit people and what will happen further. Okay? Yeah. Manza took hold of his shell and they went into the depth of the ocean. Manza's eyes grew rounder and rounder as they went deep into the ocean. Everything was amazing and beautiful and unlike anything on earth. So Manza, she sat on the turtle's back. You can see in the picture, Manza sitting on the back of turtle and she is holding tight to the shell. So when Manza was sitting, both of them went deep into the ocean. You can see they are traveling in the ocean. Some fish are there, some stones are there and sand is there. Isn't it? Yeah. So they went deep into the ocean and she was wandering. Oh, what a beautiful thing. She was amazing. Amazing in the sense surprised because everything was very beautiful and it is totally different from earth okay finally they came to the bottom of the ocean at last both manza and turtle they came to the bottom of the ocean and the dwelling of the spirit people there and they have seen the, uh, the um, they have met these spirit people and the king and the queen sat on magnificent thrones and their faces shone with such a light that Manza was a little shy and afraid she broad before them. So when they have gone to bottom of the sea, both of them have seen the spirit couple there. Both the king and the queen, spirit couple were king and queen of the ocean. They were sitting on the magnificent throne that was very big and very beautiful and wonderful throne where these two, king and queen were sitting and their face was so light. The faces were very shown. That means they were shining in such a way that 
Manza was a little bit shy and as well as afraid. So she bent uh, her head. She bowed before them. Bow in the sense, just uh, what do we call? We, it is in uh, case of uh, respect. In sense of respect, we just bow in front of the elder people. No. So in the same way, Manza bowed in front of the king and queen. You can see the king and queen of the portion here. They were sitting on the magnificent thrones. Okay. Yeah. What do you want? Woman from the dry lands. They asked kindly. Do you have stories that I could take home? Manza asked shyly. So the king and queen, they have asked Manza. What do you want? The woman from dry lands. Dry land in the sense, here the woman is, where is woman staying here? On the land. Now she had gone deep into the sea and she met the king and queen of the ocean. So they have asked, what do you want? The woman from the dry lands. And she said that, do you have any stories that I take back? She asked and immediately they said that we have many stories, they said. But what will you give us in exchange, Manza? Yes. So, what did the king and queen say? We have many stories to give you. But what will you give us in return? They asked. And immediately Manza said that, What would you like to have? What do you want? You just tell me. Manza said. And would you like a picture of, sorry, we would like a picture of your home and your people. It would be nice to see that place because we can't go there. Can you bring us a picture, Mansa? So here, the moment Mansa asked, what do you want? Immediately here, the king and queen, they said that they want a picture. What, what do they want? They want a picture of your yeah, home. That means the picture of the home and the people who live on the dry land because the king and queen they come out they can't come out of the ocean and see what will happen on the dry land so they wanted to have a look at the picture of the uh, houses and the people on the dry land okay hope you have understood children so the first in the beginning the king um, will ask manza what do you want and manza says that yeah, I want some stories and immediately the king and queen, the spirit people, they say that, okay, we have many stories, but what will you give in return? And when Manza asked what do you want, they said that they want a picture of the home and the people of the dry lands. Okay. I can do that, she said. My husband carves beautiful pictures. He will carve a lovely one for you. Manza climbed down to the turtle shell and he took her to the shore. She thanked him and asked him to return at the next full moon to collect her and the picture. So as soon as when these um, spirit people have asked for the picture of a house and people of the dry land immediately, Manza said that, oh yeah, I can do that because my husband carves the beautiful pictures who is the husband of manza here who is he yeah you you might have remembered it his husband zenjali so here she said that my husband carves the beautiful pictures and i will definitely get one for you she said and by saying that manza she climbed onto the turtle shell and the turtle took her back to the shore and she thanked turtle and she said that she will return on the next full moon day. So to collect her, she told the turtle to come back. Okay, what did she say to turtle? She said that next full moon day, I will come with a picture, she said. Okay. Then Manza went home and got Senzel to carve her a beautiful picture which showed the forest and the river and all the animals and birds on the earth. The picture also had the village and all the people in it. 
When Denzel finished it, he wrapped it in a piece of a cloth and tied it to Manza's back. So, as soon as Manza went home, she told what had happened, how the spirit people have asked for the picture of life on the land. Immediately, Denzel started to carve a beautiful picture for the spirit people which had shown the forest. What were there in the picture? The forest, the river and all the animals and as well as birds on the earth. The picture also had the village and all other people in it. So all these were there in the picture. The forest, the river, animals and birds also and even the people in the village were also there and when everything was ready that means every picture was ready in that um, carving this Denzel he finished he when he did all that he wrapped the picture wrapping in the sense safely covered the picture in a piece of a cloth and he tied it to Manza's bag so you here you can see in the picture uh, Zenzil had tied the picture on back of Manza. Here in this picture you can see he is carving the beautiful picture. Picture of animals, birds, river, people and everything he was doing. And after finishing he tied in a piece of a cloth and tied to Manza's back. Okay and she is going again to the spirit people. Manza climbed onto the turtle's back and they went to the land of the spirit people. The king and the queen of the spirit people were very happy with the picture. So when this Manza's husband, when he carved a beautiful picture and he packed in a piece of a cloth and tied at the back of Manza, she went into the sea by sitting on the turtle, isn't it? Yeah, and immediately she gave the picture to the king and queen of the spirit. And when they have seen the picture, they felt very happy that immediately they said that, yeah, definitely we will give you the story. So, for you and your people, they said, we give the gift of story. They handed her the largest and the most beautiful shell she had ever seen. Hold this shell to your ear to hear a tale. Back in the village, her children clamored, Mother, tell us a story. Manza put the shell to her ear and began once upon a time. And that is how stories came to be. So as soon as this uh, king and queen of the spirit, when they had seen the picture, they felt very happy and immediately they said that, yes, for you and your people, we will give you the gift of stories. They said, what did they say? Definitely we will give the gift of stories to your people. By saying that they have given the largest and the most beautiful shell. You can see the shell here. So they have given the largest and big beautiful shell by giving that they said that you just put the shell at your ear and you can hear a tale whenever you put it to your ear you can hear a tale they said and by that she felt very happy and she took the shell from the spirit people and she went back to her village okay and Whenever the children clamored, whenever the children said that mother, please tell us a story, she used to take the shell and she used to keep it at the ear and she used to say the stories. And she used to start the story in such a way that once upon a time, this is how the parents or the grandparents tell us a story. No, once upon a time there was a king and once upon a time there was a a lion or the tiger in the forest. So in this way, the story started, began in the past. Okay, this is how the stories came to be. Hope you have understood this story, children. And you also have enjoyed it, haven't you?
yeah definitely you might have enjoyed the story and now i'll give you the support of a video the total story is in the form of a short video do watch the video and you can easily understand the story story mother, mother tell, tell us, us a story, story. Mansa's children said when they sat around the fire at night Mansa couldn't think of a story however hard she thought no one else in the village knew stories the village where these story seeking children lived was in zulu land in africa people hunted for meat or tilled the land in the village sometimes they fished or caught crabs the villagers who were clever with their hands wove baskets and made wooden carvings The cleverest of them was Zenzeli, Manza's husband. He carved birds, trees, plants, flowers, and animals. However, he knew no stories. One day, Zenzeli told Manza, "Go look for stories. I will look after our home and children." Manza thought it was a very good idea. She packed some food and kissed her children. With a basket on her head and the colorful beads on her dress swaying. Manza set out to look for stories. A hare looked at her curiously. Manza knew that the hare was a tricky fellow, but she decided to ask him if he knew any stories. You never know who can be of help. Oh, clever hare, she said in a flattering tone. Do you know any stories? My children want to hear stories every evening. Stories? The hare said. I know millions. But I have more important things to do. So saying, he bounded off. Manza knew he was lying. He had no stories. He was a real trickster. Then Manza met Feni, the baboon. She was playing with her babies. Feni, she called. Do you tell your kids stories? What are stories? Asked Feni. I am busy keeping my babies fed and warm. I have no time for anything else. Sighing, Manza went out. She saw an owl in a wild fig tree. Oh, owl! She called. Do you have any stories for me to take home? The owl was upset because his sleep had been disturbed. You woke me up for stories. She hooted. Humans cannot live in peace and are always looking for something. She crumbled as she settled down and began to nod off again. Manza walked on sadly. She saw an elephant, ears flapping as he ate bananas. "Kind elephant," she said, "do you know any stories? My children are hungry for some tales. Where can I look for them?" The elephant felt sorry for her. "I don't know any stories," he said, "but the king of birds, the eagle, flies high in the sky and sees many things others do not that is a good idea manza exclaimed thank you manza saw the great fish eagle near the mouth of the tugela river a river in south africa swooping down from the sky talons outstretched to grab a fish oh great eagle she called startled the eagle dropped the fish he had picked up he landed on the shore near manza What do you want? He asked. Oh great and wise eagle, Manza said flatteringly, for the eagle was a vain bird. My children are hungry for stories, but we have none. Do you know of any that I can take back to them? Well, the eagle said feeling important. I am wise, but I only know of things on earth. There is one who knows the secrets of the deep dark ocean. Perhaps he could help you. I will try and call him for you. Stay here and wait for me. So Manza waited for the fish eagle to return. Here I am, the eagle called. I have brought my friend, the big sea turtle. He has agreed to take you to a place where you can find stories. The great sea turtle lifted himself out of the ocean and said in a deep voice, "Climb on my back and hold on to my shell." I will carry you to the land of the spirit people. Manza took hold of his shell and they went into the depths of the ocean. Manza's eyes grew rounder and rounder 
as they went deep into the ocean. Everything was amazing and beautiful and unlike anything on earth. Finally, they came to the bottom of the ocean, the dwelling of the spirit people. The king and the queen sat on magnificent thrones and their faces shone with such a light that Manza was a little shy and afraid. She bowed before them. What do you want, woman from the dry lands? They asked kindly. Do you have stories that I could take home? Manza asked shyly. We have many stories, they said. But what what will you you give us in exchange, exchange, Manza? What would you like? Manza asked. We would like a picture of your home and your people. It would be nice to see that place because we can't go there. Can you bring us a picture, Manza? I can do that, she said. My husband carves beautiful pictures. He will carve a lovely one for you. Manza climbed onto the turtle's shell and he took her back to the shore. She thanked him and asked him to return at the next full moon to collect her and the picture. Then Manza went home and got Zinzeli to carve her a beautiful picture which showed the forest and the river and all the animals and birds on earth. The picture also had the village and all the people in it. When Zinzeli finished it, he wrapped it in a piece of cloth and tied it to Manza's back. Manza climbed onto the turtle's back and they went to the land of the spirit people. The king and the queen of the spirit people were very happy with the picture. For you and your people, they said, we give the gift of stories. They handed her the largest and most beautiful shell she had ever seen. Hold this shell to your ear to hear a tale. Back in the village, her children clamoured. Mother, tell us a story. Manza put the shell to her ear and began. Once upon a time. And that is how stories came to be. Hope you have understood the lesson children and also the video. If you have any doubts, please call me so that I will try to clarify your doubts. Hari Om. Thank you.